Hey everybody, Sandra here. Um, listen, I I made a little mistake, uh, calculated a uh, error this morning. I uh, after I had some dental work done last night, uh, something called a quadrant cleaning. It's a pretty miserable experience. My um, top right teeth were relatively sore, and she said that you know there may be some um, some soreness in the gums and stuff. So last night I pulled my brand new juicer, cold masticating juicer, SKG, out of its box for the first time. I ordered it on Amazon Prime Day um, while I was still in Puerto Rico, and uh, last night I opened it for the first time. And I juiced four pint-size um, bottles of juice for today, and it was mostly mono juices, so I had a carrot, etc. And I ate, uh, in addition to the juices, I had some fruit today, earlier, and I had one ounce of macadamia nuts, raw and unsalted, and I had one cup of the large lima beans that I had made. And so I told myself, once I eat those, eat all that, and I have those four juices, I'm done for the day. But this afternoon, I left work an hour early to come over here to the complete opposite side of Orlando to go with uh, my granddaughter and her mom and her stepdad to um, her open house for second grade. And so I'm thinking, well, I've eaten everything I'm gonna eat today, so I'm just gonna go home and go to bed. And well, I'm hungry and I want something else, but I don't really think I need more fruit for the day because I ate a lot of fruit this morning at the during the meetings, the faculty meetings and at the house and stuff. So I'm trying not to um, eat more fruit and it would be nice if I could not eat um, s sugary, vegetables tonight as well however i did stop at lucky's because i have a 90 minute drive home at least a 90 minute drive and i did stop at a lucky's over here that i have not ever been to that my um that the mother of my granddaughter told me about that tiffany told me about and so I, I was thinking what can i get so they had these okay this is the uh naked dried um carrots and they have not very much sodium. An entire package only has 115 milligrams of sodium and there's no added um, salt to it at all. There's nothing in it but organic carrots, so that's just the natural sodium. And um, then they also have the naked beet chips, but see, both of these are sweet vegetables. Uh, so that again is just organic beets and it has 130 milligrams in the entire package of natural sodium. So yes, there is that. There is something else that I bought that I am going to try. And it is, you don't find these everywhere, but at Lucky's, which is a really nice like organic market, you're gonna find more things, I should say, that you can eat on the spot for somebody who is like us, like a nutritarian. So these are Melissa's Peeled and Steamed Baby Beets, and it says here on the, si on the bottom, it says two and a half servings in the container. A serving size is two baby beets. Uh, a serving has 35 calories and only 27 milligrams of sodium, and the only ingredient is beets, non-GMO. So that's just the natural sodium that we all need anyway that would come in that. So that is needs to stay refrigerated use within two days of opening i'm going to probably eat those on my drive home but then i had an idea while i was walking around the store and that was this would be something i could eat i know you're thinking that none of that sounds good i want i want to pull through wendy's or something i know that's what you're thinking but i'm thinking figure it out and make it work put something in my stomach that's not going to add a bunch of calories and it's not gonna be even more fruit because I've already had plenty for the day and I kinda would like to maintain here. So this is no salt added crushed tomatoes, but just opening this can and eating it is gonna be pretty bland. So I bought two, I bought three things as an alternative. Number one to try is that this is a salt-free seasoning. It has nothing but, everything I'm about to call out is organic. Paprika, onion, garlic, marjoram, thyme, fennel seed, cumin, and cayenne. So this is a salt-free Cajun seasoning. 
that I could sprinkle inside. Actually, what I thought I would do was to pour about half of the can into the jar that I did have my uh, carrot juice in earlier and uh, put a little of that in there and just try it that way. But I had another idea too while I was in there. It took me a long time to look around for this and I found two things. These are cherry peppers sliced in vinegar. So this says no artificial flavors, no fat, no cholesterol, so it does not have oil. There is, it's not been uh, brine, uh, packaged in oil. And it says here that it has a, an entire, a quarter cup is a serving. So that's quite a bit. And if I'm just going to be adding a little bit to this, just to give it a little bit of heat and not be just bland diced tomatoes, I'm certainly not going to be adding an entire quarter cup. A quarter cup does have 200 milligrams of salt. Now, I remember Dr. Furman saying it at the 2017 Health, Healing, and Happiness Conference in Vegas, somebody asked him, if you do incorporate added sodium, added salt into your plan, do you have a recommended maximum amount that is allowable? And he said, yes, 450 milligrams. So I never do, I don't add stuff. But if I'm in a pinch like this and I want to add something um, just for extra flavoring to something like these no salt added tomatoes, this would be an option. I have not opened it yet, but that would be an option. But this one has even less in it. So this is, I got these at the... Uh, Lucky's. So this says Delalo roasted piquillo peppers uh, in water and it has again a quarter cup is considered a serving and it has less sodium. So that would be 160, 160 milligrams and a quarter cup would give me one extra gram of fiber, no fat, and only 15 calories would be added to that. So as I'm walking around I'm thinking this is not a pop-top can, and I can't open these without making a mess if I don't have a pair of scissors. So what I did was I pulled, they didn't have any scissors or can openers at that particular Lucky's. So I pulled in here, I kind of backtracked a little bit, and I pulled in here at a Big Lots. Okay, just pulled in at this Big Lots here, which is just in the very next parking lot over. And I bought a cheap can opener, which is going to stay here in my car from now on for emergencies like this, and a decent pair of kitchen scissors, which are going to stay in the car. Unfortunately, the it was easy to get this out of its package, but the scissors had one of, it had two of these things on it, which, how am I gonna break that here in the car? So what I tried to be resourceful, I was able to, just pull off the one that was on the bottom, but the other one was holding this together. So I kind of rigged this and I used this because I don't have any knife or anything here in the car and I'm not messing up my eyelash, my eyebrow, my scissors, my tiny scissors, my fingernail scissors and stuff. So I just squeezed this in and cut the one that I needed to get off so that I could use those scissors. So let's try this now. First, let's do this. Let's try these beets. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all my opinion. I love raw beets. I really do. And I love putting beets in my um, soups and my stews. Very much like it. I like it in my water stir fries, my water sautés. Oh, one more thing that I had no choice but to buy at the Lucky's was some expensive uh, made it from plants spoons and forks so I will leave those in the car as well so these are not plastic made from plants they definitely look like plastic but they are compostable all right here I go with first taking a bite of these steamed beets. By the way, I have a cooler in the back of the car 
that I put in there last night when I was working on some stuff. Okay, here we go. I just broke off a little bit. And I have a cooler in the back with some ice blocks in it. And so what I don't eat right now of this, I'm just gonna go back there and put it in that cooler. Okay, so my very first time eating these beets like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's actually not bad. Keep in mind. That they don't have a lot of salt. They don't have added salt at all to them. So, it's pretty good, actually. Okay. I would really prefer to, I really prefer to wash cans off the tops of pans, but for now, I'm just going to quickly wipe this with a napkin here in the car. Let's open these. So, what do you think? I think I should start by just adding some of this um, Cajun, Cajun, which would be adding absolutely no added sodium. Like I said, I haven't had added sodium actually in a pretty long time, so wouldn't hurt for me to have a little bit here, as Dr. Furman said. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm really intrigued about these um, peppers. So I think what I'd like to do is to go ahead and try them. So I'm gonna take these scissors, with my, there they are, break that little. I'm going to use this Big Lots bag as my garbage bag. Okay, I'm going to spoon. What did I buy here? I bought Crushed. I actually did buy two cans. They're both salt-free. They're both organic. But the other was the Petite Diced, which probably would have been better. All right. And I'm going to put this back in that cooler, too, if I don't eat it all. All right, let's try, I'm excited about this. Let's try the ones that have the less sodium, 160. Let's see if I have the strength to open this. Oh, I did it, thank God, okay. All right, I'm gonna take out just one of these. Okay, here I go. Can you see? <laughs> I feel like an idiot right now. Okay, there's the one. Okay, let me hurry up and put that in that jar. Put this lid back on this. And this is gonna go back there in that cooler too. I, lo I love keeping coolers in my car. And I love using really big blocks. Uh, you know, I use, what I do is I hang, I have one back there that is like a gallon water jug that is, I once I drank the distilled water that was in it, and then I um, just put tap water in it and froze it and I use that. But also the plant milk that I used to look for and buy by a company called So Delicious. It's really hot in here, open this door. I need to open the windows before I started this. The, um, those are, awesome they're just right and I kept every one of them and so they are I keep those in my freezer and last night I put those in the back of the car and put some veggies in there because my mom's refrigerator is packed and so I needed to when I was doing the juicing I didn't juice everything all right let's try this and see here just put a little bit in there I should have probably opened the other one because they were already in tiny pieces Okay, here I go. This is so it's just basically canned tomatoes, salt free, organic, with just a hint of heat in them from these um, pe peppers. 
You know, this is extremely doable, y'all. I'm not kidding. This is really doable. You could do this in a pinch. And of course, you didn't have you wouldn't have to get these. You can get these anywhere. Walmart and get the salt-free um, petite diced tomatoes, organic or not, totally up to you. And then get either a salt-free powder, a Cajun seasoning or something, or get a jar. Keep looking around till you can find a jar of um, of the peppers that uh, are just put in water and not in oil, or maybe the ones in vinegar. Mm-hmm. Really good. These were big chunks, so that made that kind of hard, but yeah, I could definitely make a meal out of this. Um, it's just room temperature, but if it, if it comes down to this versus falling off your plan, hands down, guys, and then you'll be so proud of yourself afterwards. Okay, I know you don't want to sit here and watch me eat my way through this can. So I will sign off for now, but I just wanted to offer um, these ideas. And I uh, hope everybody has a great evening. I hope you got something out of this, and we'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye.